many business owners and, and site owners come to me and say, hey, John, it's too much to handle. Um, search changes all the time. There's about half a dozen updates within any given week. Social is emerging and changing and now has its own complicated formulas. Uh, and we don't even have enough time to do our own or run our own businesses. I would say just focus on content. Content really is the key. If you don't have content, you cannot. You don't have anything to share. And if you don't have content, you don't have anything that people are searching for on Google and, and Bing and Yahoo to find your content. So start with that. It's a supply and demand thing, right? People want to know how to do stuff uh, themselves or hire someone to do it for them. So they're looking for resources. They're looking for guides. They're looking for how-tos and so on. So start there, right? Don't complicate yourself with, with a lot of strategies and tactics. Just build content and over time start enhancing that content. Okay, can I tweak the headline a little bit? Can I tweak the article a little bit? This is a great article. Maybe I add a one minute video to it and so on. And you will find the content is your best ally out there. And it doesn't matter what uh, device we're using. Now we search on desktop. Uh, or yesterday we were searching on desktop, today we're searching on mobile, and who knows, maybe tomorrow we have uh, holograms all over the place. So it's, it's always content. It's always hard in the beginning to get uh, be added um, into uh, a circle or to be uh, part of a community and so on. So I would say with Google+, Plus, um, you write and share interesting uh, posts. Um, it, there is a, a tab on the left, it's called Explore, where Google display the most shareable um, things or posts on Google+. Start with those, share those, and probably if, if it worked with other people, it will work with you, so you will get some more engagement. And with the engagement, you will get some additional um, uh, being added to other circles. Another thing also, Think of your website. Uh, so most of the people go to your website, add Google Circle button there uh, below the articles on the side rail. If you have a good click-through rate on your newsletters, promote yourself on the newsletter, uh, promote yourself on other social platforms. So um, in the beginning, it's hard. Maybe think of even creating an ad campaign. Uh, try different things and see which one uh, has a better uh, CTR, better uh, ROI, and stick with those. But absolutely share stuff that is already shareable and it, uh, it worked with other uh, individuals or other pages. Uh, Google Plus is becoming a, a very essential part of the Google package. Um, I would say that Google Plus becoming the spinal cord of all Google products. So shopping will be connected to Google Plus. Your, uh, uh, maps or places are already part of Google Plus. There is no longer places, Google Places. Um, your search, your social search, your uh, when you are logged in, uh, other stuff coming from Google Plus into your search results. Uh, I can't remember any product that Google offers. Even their AdWords uh, is becoming integrated with Google. YouTube is integrated with Google Plus. So Google is determined to make Google Plus a very essential part of everything that they do. So if you're not in Google+, Plus, you should consider it. While it's not the most active platform right now, but in a year or two from now, uh, it will be very important, not only for social, but for SEO. It, it is becoming, as, 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 right now, as of right now, uh, a part of the ranking algorithm. So they will look at the uh, pluses and the circles and, and, the, and the, the endorsements and the authorship and all these kind of things into the ranking. So it's becoming a part of the ranking uh, formula.